know there are millions of children living in poverty in this country, many in families that are homeless and staying in shelters. Those kids can miss out on a lot of the things so many children take for granted, things like a party on their birthday. Well, Connecting Point contributor Carolee McGrath sat down with Megan Person of Birthday Wishes, a 12-year-old organization now bringing at least one special day a year to kids in 185 homeless shelters across the Northeast. It really started, there was a group of three friends, including the current executive director, Lisa Vasiloff, and she and her family and friends were really looking for a way to give back in local shelters, and they realized that um, children in shelters really didn't have any birthday parties. The shelters didn't necessarily have funds for them, so they came in and put on a birthday party. The first one was for a five-year-old boy, and since then, we have expanded to over 200 shelters, and we are now across Massachusetts, um, Long Island, New York, Rhode Island, and then there's a few shelters in Maine, New Hampshire, and Connecticut as well. Now, many of these kids are in public schools, and I, I think people might not realize that. The, one of the numbers that, uh, that we had talked about was that there's 44,000 homeless kids enrolled in public schools in Massachusetts. Yes, so that is a very large number, and only about 15,000 of them have actually received some services and some help from the schools. So there are so many other children that might be undocumented. They might be doubling up with a family member, so they're not necessarily considered homeless, even though they don't have a home of their own. Okay, so how, does, how do these uh, kids react when you walk in with this uh, big box? <laughs> Um, so many kids are so excited. The staff members are so excited. Everyone is really excited to open what looks open like. It. So what do we got in here? Um, so these are for our domestic violence shelters. These ones are ones we can't actually go into. Um, so we really fill up this entire box with everything they need to put on a party. And really we, we like to make sure that we can fit whatever the child is interested in. So we have a lot of young girls and um, boys. We always have some superheroes. And they also get gifts as well. They get gifts, yes. And we give them five gifts. Um, we give them, we have PJs. We give them always PJs. We want to make sure that they can snuggle up in something. Mm -hmm. And then board games, Hasbro is a wonderful donor and they donate to us because East Long Meadow had an office or still has an office. Um, that's really it. We, we give them five gifts. We have a system for giving them gifts. Right. So they get a stuffed animal, PJs, a small item, a board game, and a toy. Now and for talk, teens... Talk about a little bit. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, to oh, cut you okay. off there. The, some of the trauma, including the teens, um, that a lot of these kids uh, have experienced. You said this is for uh, shelters um, which serves uh, people who are victims of domestic violence. So what, mm -hmm. what kind of trauma have these kids wit witnessed? Um, a lot of times, um, 11 of our shelters are domestic violence shelters, so we aren't allowed to go in there. So a lot of times, they're like Safe Passage in Northampton, they have a hidden um, place for all these people to live so that they can, their mothers and the children can be safe. And this is all volunteer and all of these items are donated? Is that how it works? Yes, about um, 59% of all of the funding that we get is through individual donations. And that might be through someone just donating a birthday box or um, a small uh, business. A lot of times they will donate some money or some items to us. So we get almost everything exclusively through donations. And we also have a 500 volunteers that go through every month. So a lot of times we have the same volunteers. I have some office volunteers that are always coming in on the same day. And then people who will come in for a birthday party one month, and then it'll be a different person coming in to volunteer at a birthday party the next month. And just quickly, I, I know these kids have experienced some sort of trauma in their lives. What does this mean to them when you walk in with something like that? For a lot of our children, they often don't even get to experience a birthday party. So there are some parents who might not even tell their child that they have a birthday because they're so saddened that they can't provide the wonderful birthday experience and they think it's very expensive. So they might have our first, their first birthday party with us when they're six or seven. And a lot of these children have been moved around, so they might have changed schools, lost a lot of friends in all the moves, um, and separated from family members and any support system that can really help them out. And they're actually right now in Western Massachusetts are quite a few families that are out from the Boston, um, Roxbury area right now. And some are in hotels as well. And we're hoping to expand to those um, hotel families at some point in the future. But we also have a waiting list right now with about 
85 to 100 kids in these few shelters that really want to join our organization. So we need to garner up some more donations and hopefully expand and, and work with them. And how do people find you real quick? Um, Website. www.birthdaywishes.org and all the information is there. Just look for my name or Western Massachusetts and you can find all the parties. You can sign up to donate. There's a list of what goes in the birthday box, um, what goes in goodie bags, all the different ways that you can volunteer with us. All right, Megan uh, Person, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.